Okay. So prior to the show, what we do with anybody who requests to be on the show, who sends us a DM, we send them a, a list of 10 questions. Mm -hmm. And I sent you a list of 10 questions asking age, location, occupation, relationship status, if you wanted to bring a friend, any dating stories, any dating topics you'd want to speak on, anything you disagree on, if you can make it to Santa Barbara, and your available dates to be on the show. 10 questions, most people answer it without issue. Uh, you did freak out on me a little bit in the DMs, and I just wanted to... Freaking down on the DM. So I, I wanted to pull them up, and perhaps you can read them just so I can better understand the tone, because maybe I'm being charitable here, but there was an interesting tone to it. So maybe in your own words, it might come can off different. Can you, like it sounded cocky or? Well, we'll just your... pull it up, Nick, if you can pull it up for us. Could you read that, read these for us? You obviously know I'm legit and have tons of things to talk about, no matter how you want to lead the conversation. I feel like that is why you are not leveling up. You are being too legalistic about things and you need to learn how to read vibration over words and rules of the manifested or visual reality. I'm really only looking to work with or give energy to people who are totally in alignment with me. And if that includes you, then you are not going to waste my time making me answer some little stupid baby bitch list of questions mm. that is made for other people who are clueless. You would be able to read my vibration and know that I'm in oh that I am exempt from all this shit. And if you can't do that, then I don't really want on your show. Now do I? Wow. Oh, okay, I'm a spiritual person. I have my own spiritual business and I read energy and read tarot and all of that, but like I mean, but I'm sorry. That is just I don't know. That is That's pretty mean. crazy. Well, I understand. I totally understand. You got to speak into the mic first of all. I totally understand that it sounded very harsh, but you have to understand how many DMs I get, how much I get approached. Well, Correct. I think most of you here Every single, well, um, maybe, uh, I'm, I'm not I'm, sure. I think most of you reached out to us. Mm -hmm. You all got the same questionnaire. Mm -hmm. this is you all how filled it, it out without yeah. any quarrel yeah. or issue. Yeah. If I, it's right, your show. Right. And it's normal standard. And it took you what, how, You sent a fuck ton of stuff. I would have been like, that, <laughs> I have a full fetish that, place. So. That wall of text that you sent me, you could have just been yes. a good sport and answer the same time i guess because i am not a typically no. presented woman and so i try to make it very clear you're not dealing with a typical person are you sure you want to engage with me because i don't you think but, better than no any of i us. think i'm very different and it's not for everybody Whoa. so i kind of just come off harsh and just so you know i knew nothing about this podcast yeah, how can wait, you say that wait, no you don't understand so whatever podcast is i made it clear one. i did want to lead in just very quickly is it desiree, desiree. Name? i've been desiree. saying yeah before you say what you're gonna say it's not I have to cut in on that can you uh, the leveling up thing. This we is, have so, to get this is that. super important because I got to know. Is it? I'm, I'm is reviewing it? the Instagram. Mentally, Why do you my have brain pictures of the annoying. children? I got to make sure this is TOS. Why do you have pictures of the kids in the same? Okay. Why do you have pictures of your offspring in the same Instagram that you have these lewd pictures? Because I don't believe that human sexuality is anything to, it's not wrong in my book. There's nothing wrong with it. I celebrate sex and all the different forms and expressions of it. Now, it's not like my kids are They're not concerned. in the room when I'm getting cum shot on or anything Would you like want to that? see okay, pictures no, no, of no, no. your kids Hold like on. that? No, 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 it no, 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 no. It wouldn't bother Hold me. On. It's human sexuality. We're not going to talk. I don't want to talk about this. This is very... Okay, that's fair. This yeah. is on the fucking but line here. This is a boring yeah. I'm not sure it is, but it's your show. I'll yield. But listen, lewds in the same... I know, just don't consider it in the, in the same In the same Instagram as that... I don't ascribe Something's to the off. same moral code that you do. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that there is anything wrong with however an adult person wants to express themselves sexually. That I'll is, let it go there. That's mm -hmm. crazy. That's okay. Okay. I don't, Sorry, answer, I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. I don't have yeah, your same cool. morals. So kind of, I, I want to go back to the meta conversation we were having about the messages you sent. Uh, you mentioned that very early on in the episode, you wanted to bring down the egos of men. 
I mean, don't you think the message you sent me is a bit egotistical? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very full of yourself. It was. And I was really, to be honest with you, I am working on some massive humanitarian work right now that to me is the most important thing. When I get on a mission, you could say, that's all I really care I about. I didn't know who I was. They, I just spoke my truth. That's how I felt in the moment. But it's it was not really based annoying. on reality. It's assumed they're not going to call me on to the show, to be honest. I just thought, you annoyed right now. I'm busy doing this other work. I got a million things going on. Why are they having me answer these questions? I'm a you, sex and relationship coach aside, if they so want me on or not. I'm just simply have, saying, if I'm not for you, I'm yeah. not for you. I, that's I'm all I'm saying. saying. Go off, queen. Go off, queen. I feel, I feel very tired of being a people pleaser. And I just don't want to do it That's anymore. I don't need so everybody to, to like me. I don't need narcissist? everybody to have me on their show. Well, if you want to say it's narcissism, I'm okay with that. It, I don't mind being mean. I get people mean to me all the time. But it's just like, I've maybe encountered, and we've had probably thousands, we've had over a thousand people on the show. We've had probably multiple thousands of people send us DMs. Obviously not everybody ends up uh, scheduling. We don't always opt to schedule somebody. I think I've had maybe one or two other women be divas over mm. the whole, oh my God, it's 10 questions. It's, That's so weird to me. It, it was it's very just, diva like. And you it's did just because, again, I was on a mission mentally and it was uh, have me on. I don't want to answer all these Jesus, questions. Best, so much wait, energy you, you're from that. Los Angeles, right? But to me, hold, that no, wasn't no, no, a lot hold of on, energy hold on. because answer it was my, my question. truth. Answer my question. You're from LA, right? No. Los Angeles? No. Well, you said you're from San Bernardino. That's LA County, isn't yeah. it? No, Corona, it's San Bernardino I. County. That's San and then okay. Corona is Riverside did you County. Ever, did, did you ever have any ambitions to be an actress? I mean, I did drama when I was have, a kid. Have you ever been to a casting call? Have you ever gone on a job interview? Yes. Did they require a resume? It depends on the job. Have you ever applied for a job that required a cover letter or a resume or a CV? Well, wait, is not the same thing as a... Well, okay. Well... Have you ever... Same yes, thing. but this was not a job. This was something that... This is that, a gig. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, see, I didn't see it as a gig until you guys actually scheduled okay. me. That well, was about, me showing you my personality. You can take it or leave it. Right, you don't have to schedule me. You're confused as to why we would ask these questions. So we're, we asked very basic I wasn't biographical... Confused. It's not that I was confused. It was that was me popping off because I felt that answering a cookie cutter list of questions to a person like me who's extremely complex. So no matter how I answer these, that's not the full truth. The question. It was basic bio info, you. age, location, occupation, relationship yeah. status. Your... If you want to bring a friend, dating stories, dating topics, anything you disagree on, if you can make it to Santa Barbara and you're available dates, I mean, those last two kind of necessary questions. And then as we went down in communication, I gave you my, obviously I'm here. Well, yeah. Obviously, it worked out enough. <laughs> but you told me I need to learn how to read vibration. I wasn't saying it to you. I didn't well, even you, know what I was You said you. To. I was venting to an okay, Instagram fine. The, DM. I didn't know a face. I've never even seen who. the podcast. It I have no idea. Who. Fine. You, never you have to understand fine. how many as, dicks I talk to a day. I talk to wait, so many assholes you, a day. Like, I literally, I have to do business to constantly. All day, I deal with agencies. I deal with booking this, booking that. Over here. So and everything else is just, we have to Well, because you guys have no idea what I actually have to deal with. You have no idea with that. I only reached out because a friend said you should go on this podcast. Okay, Again, so. I've never seen it. I didn't know anything about it. And Me so I either. wasn't really well, taking it seriously. Once you looked it up, did you realize that he had... Okay. Well, There's a like difference between and being and not shit. taking it serious Stop. and being disrespectful, though. Uh, I, I didn't give a shit about who I disrespected. Clearly. What do you care if I disrespect you? You don't even know me. You don't even like because me. Because he's well, a human? I understand. I get it. I get it. Nice. I'm not here. Where do you get your moral compass everybody. from? Okay. I don't go by morals. Just clearly. Your integrity? Yeah. I don't go by morals. That was the mood I was in. I gave you my real self. Would you rather me just... pretend like I was a cookie cutter little sweet thing and then get on here and be just this? Just to answer the it's just I like real. I, but, I told you. You're I'm not understanding. I am a bitch. I'm not going to do that on here. I am a bitch and I'm not for most people. So I wanted to make sure that that was clear. Are you on any sort of psychiatric drugs at all? Also said that, to be honest with you, it's annoying to me, you would make a woman like me go down the list and answer certain questions 
I'm, I'm above needing to answer your certain questions. That's in the fourth message there. Just book me on your fucking show and let's go. It's called Locker Room Talk. Uh, well, it's interesting because you you very harshly criticized me for... It wasn't you again. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me finish my point. So we had to restart the stream. Miss over here who did a wardrobe change. It there was, was really, really, really cool. It's, it's fine. So... There was a nip slip, so we had to cut the stream. I was frustrated. I don't recall precisely what I said to her. I might have said something rude to her out you of frustration. You said, shut the fuck up. Mm -hmm. You did. Yeah, okay, yeah, well. It's okay. I, I, sure. I understand. I, I would have said the same thing. Now, you got on your high horse in your ivory tower, and you, you got very, you wanted to virtue signal, and you almost, you threatened to leave. You threatened to... I'm gonna if you if this is how you're gonna talk to women, I sh I'm gonna leave and she should come with me. She included all of us. Mm -hmm. And you attempted to pretty much get all the women to leave the show. Admittedly, I did say something rude to her, which I apologize to you. I was frustrated. And I liked it was you not, because of that. I liked right, your apology. But it's interesting to me that your conduct between us in the DMs. Okay, I'll hold explain on. it. It's interesting to me that it's okay for you to behave in that way it's the way in which thing. you were speaking to me was i would argue about on par in the way i spoke to her i would say much worse yeah way worse her message i agree i agree, yeah. I agree. Yeah. the okay. only thing i have to say is that again so who I makes deal with you so many who makes fake, you the like, arbiter coming at me okay don't that care. i didn't know that you were even That's... a human i don't know who i'm dealing with well, you think we have an AI? Messaging? I have no idea. But you it's would, not. You it would could, be, if it was Nick would, who was messaging you, I would be sitting here and saying the exact same thing. It would have been an agent, a representative of whatever podcast. I and understand. it is me who handles all the guest I booking. I get it. But I don't, I, it's not me. You didn't know who you were messaging it to. It doesn't matter yeah, if it was me or human. Maddie or yeah. Nick it's or if true, we were paying but you have $10. To I find it lot. interesting that you were virtue signaling at the yeah. beginning of the show. You're, and it's because I could feel her as a human person she was not even that bothered so no, 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 you no, no, can't no, no. feel their emotions it doesn't matter yes because i deal what? so much in the virtual world and i'm so bullshitted constantly no. that i'm just very you have harsh. no empathy very. you have no true empathy yeah. for I, people. no i actually do when i know it's even bothered you turned to her and said you're so being abused that i ruined his podcast but I truly I just appreciate thought, you sticking up for me. But, but you the went there you. before even getting I, on the but show. I, again, I had no idea who I was speaking to. That, it I doesn't was, matter. I, ha I have, you have the to messages. Okay. No, I know. I have the messages. I was, I was calculatingly being my most aggressive self because I get taken advantage of a lot. That's how is it taking pathetic. advantage of you to ask 10 questions? <laughs> no, I'm just to saying. Schedule, I no, no, get, no. Answer the question. Answer. How is it taking advantage of you to ask you 10 like biographical questions. Maybe because, me. Hold on, hold on. Let her answer. Go ahead. Because I just didn't feel like me answering those simple little questions were going to paint the accurate picture of who you were having on the show. But do you think and there's I, a reason we ask those questions? I do. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? I am not for everybody. Do you Clearly. have a podcast well, think, that has no, millions no, no, hold of people? I, I, I think I do understand what you're saying. And let me, let me kind of steal me in the position. You felt like by answering those questions, it would have misrepresented yes, what it was that you were trying to get across, right? Correct, correct. But the thing is, is that could it perhaps be cope on your behalf that you were terrified of answering those questions because you know to a reasonable standard that a person interpreting them may totally get the wrong idea of you even though they're basic questions? Well, no, and because those were really basic questions. It's easy. And not on the it's, podcast. No, because listen, if you go down the list, it's very easy. I'm 38. I live in Corona. I am technically single or then divorced. why so much cope? Because again, I wanted to really, and I, I'm not justifying. I did do it very, I could have done it in a more polite way. You're right. I could have <laughs> right, done it right. in a more, so, so but I, I was terrified revealing, of this. Right? I would terrify that I would come to a situation where mm -hmm. this isn't, really my you're thing. completely gaslighting right now huh like, well no no hang on hang on that? listen no, i'm not i'm not going to accuse her of gaslighting i actually do want her answer to the question from my perspective what it appears to be it and you can correct me if i'm wrong but if you're giving basic answers to the question and kind of the cope or what i would consider cope is you know i'm afraid that you're going to get the wrong picture of me okay that's fair Yes. There could be a way in which questions are presented 
where we could get the wrong interpretation. It or happens to me a lot. Who, hang on, hang on, of who you are as a whole. I agree that that's true. But doesn't it kind of ratify Brian's position here that in DMs, you were ultimately very, very, very aggressive. It was because I live in a world of sharks. And I just, sometimes I'm in a mood, I'm dealing with freaking law cases and all these things. And judge me however you want to judge me. It's fine. Law cases? With the ex-husband, he beat me. I have to press oh charges God. in the whole situation. Yeah, but you're, why would that have victim. anything to do with a podcast? I'm not That's saying weird. I'm a victim. I'm just saying as so, a human so, being, so, some days I get a little rattled. So and I'm why a little, couldn't like, you extend that same courtesy to me when I was a little sharp with her? Mm. Instead, you you wanted to put your foot down, because be the I language police. Safe. I honestly, you, you didn't I, I feel, didn't yeah, feel I gonna... safe. I didn't feel emotionally safe. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Emotionally it's all safe. buzzwords just to get out of taking responsibility. No, no, no. What when the he hell said fuck, when he had the comment to her, that's when I didn't feel emotionally safe. When he said fuck and I engaged and I, you know, as you described it, I was virtue signaling, you said. It's because it triggered me to be like, oh shit, this is what I was afraid of. I'm not safe here. That's why I well, tried to well, give wait, them wait, wait. Mean, the most okay, bitch, on, ridiculous on, part of sure myself so I didn't even have to go. Hang on. You mean at the beginning of the podcast when I pointed out that there could be something which was potentially detrimental to everything that this man has worked for. And so he was, he was frustrated in the moment and maybe he said something out of turn or untowards. Um, the gal who this was directed to said, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Who are you to come in yeah. and advocate on her behalf and say, wait, she's way in the wrong or this type of thing. That's not really your concern. Who are you to come in and make this, ar this arbitrary judgment that a person who says something in frustration in regards to the entirety of their livelihood, which could be at stake when the person they said it to yeah. was forgiving instantly. Can you explain that to me? Yeah. I do appreciate her sticking up for me, but I do understand where he Listen, was coming. I, I think that's totally appropriate. For the moment, she said, no worries. I'm not even concerned about it. You, on the other hand, made a big deal out because of it. Because I'm the person huge, that all these on, women come to out of it. for help oh. after they need your help. Who are you to do that? I, I'm sorry. Wait, it's just you're, where you're, I'm at in life on. and I, the I work that I do. And I deal with the traumas. Everybody comes and hold brings on. me all I want of you these to finish. traumas I, that they never had restitution for. Hey, she's going to she's gonna fawn in the moment. Okay. She's not okay. weak. You're saying she's weak. I'm not saying that. I'm simply saying she's mature and self-aware and just saying, let's move on. It's business. And as you saw, we were all able to kind of work through it. You we were kind of, but we took it down a notch. Down. I was no, friendly with no, you. I on, said I on, appreciate. Hang on. hang on, you're fibbing. And here I can prove it. You said behind the scenes that you wanted revenge, that you wanted to get some gitsy backsies, yep. and that Brian didn't know yeah. who he was fucking with. That's what you actually yeah. said oh, behind the I didn't scenes. Hear that. Isn't that true? I yes, that, yeah, that is true. I mean, you I, literally. Scene, you said he deserved some revenge, some restitution, and that you I were going to get him. I didn't know the guy yet. That's what you actually exactly. said. I didn't know the guy yet. I it's hear, a woman being that. triggered. But, but you have to understand, I have been abused what a was lot. What, did I abuse you? Did I abuse her? She turned to her and was like, this is abuse. Yeah. But Well, it was verbal abuse. I Wait, mean, that was verbal. Going back to what Andrew said, oh though, what God. specifically, if you guys can recall, what did she say? That well, here, you, let oh, Andrew ahead. help, because I'll tell you. Yeah. Because me being in the background, sometimes I hit record, and I have all of this recorded. Here's what she actually said. She said that you, she ain't going to put up with none of this shit from these motherfuckers. Yeah, she does. And that, that they better know their fucking place, mm -hmm. and that she's going to get revenge if necessary. That's what she actually Toxic said. Am I femininity. lying? Go well, ahead, tell me, call well, me a liar. Well, you put a, if, okay, you have to understand from my perspective, again, I didn't know the man from what anything. What does that matter? What does that matter? Because I'm just, I'm going off of my experience in life with men. And why include us? Like, we can just, we can leave right okay, now well, like everybody. I'm, I'm sorry. I just consider myself, I'm a mother. I'm a leader. I have daughters, but we're strong as well. You don't. We're not weak. I'm, You're and taking I'm, I'm on that masculine energy, wow. though. Yeah, I guess I do. Talking I, about I this take on be... daddy energy if I feel like there's some vulnerable group here that isn't. <laughs> we're not a vulnerable group. group. Okay, okay. We're, we're, anyone we're self aware okay? that it's a whole no, podcast that, that if that nip slip oh, no. was there, well, I it, it can get banned for life. I apologize for having empathy 
towards women and wow. making oh, sure that we all wait, know we what didn't is this have what is that called? Here. What is she she's it's like a, an apology. I'm sorry. Um, that I, so this is a apology. complete total red herring. Can you just speak to the fact that before you even knew the circumstance of the situation, you actually demanded that the girls get up and leave with you in order to get revenge. That's what you That's actually crazy. requested. Look at them shaking their head because I'm right. You requested all of them get up and leave that podcast and leave him high and dry to get revenge. So why don't you get up and get the fuck wait, out of this wait, wait, podcast wait, wait, wait. since you're the one who demanded <laughs> that this happened to him? I was triggered, okay? I didn't know you from anybody. I wasn't sure what I was getting myself into, and I, I just never know how things are gonna go. Look at this, <laughs> I do appreciate a man who puts me in my place. Who were there at the table to get up and I heard that walk out of the show I heard in that order part. to get revenge against you because you had a fire at the mouth moment very quickly because everything you had ever worked for perhaps could be in jeopardy. Right. And so yeah. you had an emotional outburst, how dare you? She actually tried to convince the entire panel to get up and collectively walk out with her. Look Girls, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. No, I mean, I told her right away. I said, don't, don't, don't include me. They all respectfully tried to calm her down and be like, okay, yeah. let's just stay quiet, figure this shit out. And, and I she's did. No, 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 you kept no, no, laughing. No, no, no. You literally <laughs> got on bantering. Or well, like, I need a minute. Like, I need a minute. Once I get that. I said the rude thing or whatever. Then I was like, okay, time for for action and the stream we got to delete it everybody's here and you made me feel safe when you came back and the way Aww. that you apologized it felt very <laughs> genuine and to be honest it really endeared me to you it really endeared me to you but i came in fuck. it kind of I'm with this heart <laughs> it ain't happening but I mean, what about the messages i just can't get what triggers were very harsh i can't them. get over that wait, they were very yeah, crazy. Crazy. wait wait I, I, this wait, is this could happen? be this could sort of be like a come to God moment here. So yeah. now no, it's very know. rare, like me and Andrew, we constantly get labeled as toxic and abrasive. And No, I don't well, think hold, you No, no, are. no, let me finish yeah. my point. Typically it's very rare. I don't know if it's yeah. ever happened like this. Every woman here has turned against you. Yeah. Now I have a question for you. Do you frequently find yourself in conflict with people? No. To be honest, really? because I try to kind of weed out my relationships and him Stop the cap. You, you're telling me your life isn't full of constant interpersonal conflict? I mean, I'm out, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm no, my, cap, so no, I think I have a, the whole, a pretty peaceful life, even though, to be honest. So the whole panel has turned against you. Mm -hmm. 